One of my favorite treats, churros. Yan ang gagawin natin today. Simple, simple, luto na ha -ha. So, churros is a fried pastry. And, well, it's not really baking, but we can bake someone happy just by frying these goodies. No? So, ito, I have like a empty pot and I will just add water. Butter and salt. Ito, I did not add sugar to this recipe because it will be coated with a very nice cinnamon sugar. So, our water and butter mixture is already boiling. And now, I will add my flour. And we mix it until we have a smooth paste. And it's very important when you're doing this is that everything is mixed until smooth. No, There are no lumps of flour. So, once that's fine, we'll just transfer it to our bowl and yeah, that's easier to handle so that will help it cool down our dough is already cool enough to touch look at that now so i know when i add my eggs it won't cook the eggs immediately and i will just like break the eggs here on another bowl and what i like to do is i beat it before adding here now so i don't like break it one by one but i just make like a scrambled eggs and in the meantime, I will just heat up my pan with oil. So we will deep fry our churros using, of course, our golden fiesta palm oil. Yeah, so the key is to fry it beautifully over medium heat. But later on, we will fry it again for an extra crisp. So the technique natin dito is double frying. No? And now I'm ready to combine my eggs and my dough so ayan. Ayan. and i will now add my eggs a little at a time no because you know you're using three eggs you don't put everything simultaneously and you beat it you can use your wooden spoon for this as well ha? so the nice thing about it you can actually par fry it no gagawa ka na dito ng batch you can leave it as a dough so our butter is very sticky and look at that and we have a very nice sticky butter. Look at that, no? So this recipe, I really reduce the moisture because I want my churros to be really crispy. Pastry bag. So we're using a star tip for this. And let's begin to make some churros. Yeah, just make straight lines. Look at that. So it cuts off very quickly, no? Very clean. So when it's this color, as long as it's cooked, pwede mo na siya itabi. And when you want to serve it later on, pwede mo na siyang i-refry until golden and very crisp. But I will also show you another way of preparing it so that in case you don't have piping bag, you can make bunuelos. No? So they're like random balls. No? And just wet your spoon and just like, drop it. Yeah, so while that's frying, I will now make my cinnamon sugar and it's one of the easiest things you can make yeah so you just combine that and set aside you can keep it in a bottle so if you want to make your cappuccino and that's done and this recipe is part of the baking simple cookbook please grab a copy from lazada and shopee and national bookstore and soon amazon yeah ang dami nagre request internationally we're just waiting to ship and it will be available to you and now, let's fry. Are you ready? And when you put it, no, gentle. Don't drop it from afar because it's going to splatter all over you. You don't want to hurt yourself, especially when you're working with hot oil. Huwag ganyan, no? Ready na? And now, you just, while it's still hot, toss it in your cinnamon sugar. And our bunuelos, let's fry our bunuelos as well. Mm. Happy, happy, di ba? And let's toss. If you cool your churros before adding your cinnamon sugar, hindi na siya didikit. That's done. Bunuelos are also beautiful. And our bunuelos are done. I'll add my bunuelos here. Dust it with powdered sugar. Yan. They're also like beignets, no? And you have that on the side. Oh, it's so easy to do. And here it is, our recipe for today. Ang aking merienda, churros and bunuelos 
¡Simple!